are in the community known as Colonia de los Santos. We have an evangelism team and we're going to be doing door-to-door -door evangelism. We have BBS. We also have people in the prisons right now doing eyeglass ministry. God is blessing a family with a house for a family that is in need. I think it gives them an opportunity to see the hands and feet of Jesus. Serving sacrificially to me is getting outside of what you normally do, extending your faith and extending your love to other people. Jesus sacrificed and served sacrificially, so I want to do the same thing. I like to think about it in the sense of like, how does God see this person or how does God see these people and what's his heart for these people? What would he want to say if he was in the flesh on earth and how can I be that vessel for God for these people? como es el segundo mandamiento. Amarás a tu prójimo como a ti mismo. No nada más con, con hablar, sino con hecho. Y eso es lo que están haciendo ustedes. This, my favorite part, is uh, the give the kid for the family. This is very important to us because it's not only help for the one family, I feel in help for my city. It's a blessing for, for me, for us. This is my first time serving in Ensenada and doing a missions trip at all, so I'm really excited. I had been wanting to do missions trip for a while, and I thought Ensenada was probably the best start. First time serving, never been out of the country, never been on a missions trip. I just feel like God was just calling on my heart just to be a part of a team just in the ministry. To me, this is like going to like a youth camp, but we're grown up. Old people can work and young kids can work. It's fun to serve in our community of believers. We actually went door to door in evangelism, just sharing the goodness and mercy of the, the truth, the Bible, just sharing it to people that may not know it. I'm only 19 and I feel like the Lord's just calling me to just evangelize and just share God's love with people and I feel like this is just a good time to share it. Appreciate it, brother. Hey, I want to see you in heaven one day. If I was extremely nervous about evangelizing as a translator, worried about what I was going to say, but then realizing it's not at all about me and just allowing God to use me to serve his people. Gracias por eso. Sigan haciendo caso a Dios y sigan adelante. It's a beautiful. Thank you and please don't stop. I know that sometimes it's very hard, but you put the seat in a lot of hearts. Ustedes son una gran bendición.